What's good family, so mash the like button and subscribe, so we just saw here, Andy, Margin Boo, Ruiz, oh, mm -hmm. must be my mummy, my company, that down there, see him roast in the heavy bag, and you man know that whilst me and Margin Boo had our differences, and whilst I half enjoyed seeing his wig get, get adjusted to the right by the landlord, I've always given Ruiz his credit. He's lazy as you like, big bubbly as you like, but his technique is solid. Lovely shots, turns him over. Probably one of the best, top two in the division, him and AJ, in turning shots over. Arguably even maybe a little bit sharper than even AJ. But the difference is, AJ got the work ethic behind it. This Margin Boo Cat, not a lick of work ethic. That said, I've always been... A fan, not always, sorry. Since he got linked with AJ, I've really respected the, the, the bare bones Ruiz has. And I've always said as well, he'll be dangerous. If he comes down to 230, he shouldn't be a lick more than 220, really. When you think about AJ coming in 237, <laughs> my man's 6'5", six 6'6", foot six foot six, and got dense as well, mesmer mesmermorphic Don. You've got no business being 6'2", and heavier than AJ, not in a month of Sundays. 2.30 tops should be Ruiz's target. Now, allegedly, Ruiz's target in 2.50, I've heard him say, oh, me and my team are targeting 2.50. But I'm not being funny. How long does it take? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? You, t you can't be, like, you You get this with big birds as well. Big birds, they say things like, oh, I'm on, a, I'm on a diet. I'm aiming for this weight. But you can't have the same weight target for two years. Do you understand? It's not one of them ones. Cut the weight. Do the diet. Oh, yeah, I've been cutting weight. No, you haven't been cutting weight for a while. You've been just gassing the place up. You either go moving towards your target. Seriously, yeah? If you're losing weight, it should be dropping every week, isn't it? It's not... Big bubbly dons, big birds, they like to think that it's some long chore thing. No. Okay, I've got 50 pounds to lose. That means over a year I'm losing a pound. A week or whatever. It doesn't matter. To be fair, it's not about the amount you lose every week, but it's about being consistent. It shouldn't be... Six months ago, you have the same target you had today. Or you haven't moved much. That's what Ruiz does, I've noticed. Because it can't things aren't adding up now. You've been with Canelo's camp for about a year. Why have you still got the same targets? It's mad. And he even started celebrating. He said, oh yeah, look. I'm 280 now. And I'm really happy. I came down from 310. I thought, oh, huh? You thought AJ at 280 and he was overweight then. But it's, this is what these big birds do. They don't... They can't be real with themselves. Someone needs to sit him down and tell him, listen, you was 280 when you fought AJ and that was over. Just because you bu bubbled up to 320, whose fault's that? Don't be, like, it's really weird, like, because you make a new max, so because Ruiz went to a career heaviest at 320, he then thinks getting back to 280 is an accomplishment. It's not. That just shows how, how much lack and discipline you've got. You should have never been 280. Do you understand? You're two, you was 320, which is way too big, and now you're 280, which, guess what, is way too big. Let me know when you get down to 240, then we can start talking. For some reason, people around him, and I guess it comes with the money, but you need real people around you, man. I'm surprised that, well, I have seen Canelo's trainer has actually said to Andy, well, I've, the bits I've heard, he hasn't gassed Andy up, but I'm not sure how strict they're being, because this thing isn't really a long thing to deal with. We've seen Ricky, Ricky Hatton, Ricky Hatton's dropped like £50 in a few weeks. Now, I'm not saying... That obviously, you end up doing that. Next thing you know, you're off to white. You don't want to end up off to white like Ricky. Ricky Lyons, yeah? <laughs> but no, on a serious note... 
There's a good way and bad way to do it. Obviously, Ricky Fatton, he did it way too much the other way. Went too, too ferocious. But it shows it can be done that way. Which means, if Ricky Hatton can drop £50 in, in eight weeks, that means when you're £320, you can drop 50 in six months. Got no reason not to be doing that. Unless you're not disciplined in the mouth. And I reckon that's the problem. Because if he's allegedly training, I don't believe Canelo Alvarez is trainer. Eddie Reynoso will allow a big bubbly don just to be not training. I know for a fact, if you're in Canelo's trap camp, you're training. But what I don't believe they're doing, which is often the case with most big birds, is that they don't control what's going in the mouth. You can eat, as, well, to be fair, when you're training, obviously it helps. But ultimately, staying in shape is all about your diet. You can train as hard as you want. Again, it will help, but if you're, if you're offsetting that, with eating all the stuff you want to eat, you're going to end up like Andy Ruiz, celebrating having put more weight on and lost a little bit less. For Andy Ruiz's weight, it's almost like two steps forward, one, no, it's like one step forward, two step back, isn't it? Let's not forget, my man was 250, 260. When he fought AJ in June 2019, he said, oh, I'm 260 and hopefully for the, re for the rematch, I'm going to get even, even, in even better shape. That was a target. Don't forget that. Andy Ruiz at 260 was targeting a better shape for the rematch to make sure he was on top. Obviously, the money came to him and he lost his head. He went in the ring at 280, career heaviest, up there with his career heaviest. And then after that, he went even higher when he wasn't fighting 320. So it's easy to see how people get deluded. You, yeah, because I understand you've lost forty pound, but unfortunately for you, that weren't the good forty. That was the forty you should never had on in the first place. You should have humbled yourself, disciplined yourself, and we're not talking about small amounts of weight here. It's actually relatively hard to put forty pounds on when you're when you're training. Like, what is that? You've really got to be gorging. You've really got to be. May you may even have psychological issues, as in it won't be the first time people get they have problems with alcohol or whatever else not a sh not a shocker but you need to address it as an athlete whatever you need to do it's not enough just to get in this people like to get in this instagram thing of oh yeah look i'm i'm instagram instagram ain't, ain't no proper help yeah reading a few motivational quotes on instagram ain't that ain't gonna sort you out if you need if you've got proper problems if you've got proper problems you need proper help this inst oh well no i've watched this i've watched david egg what's his name that idiot that, that oh, i've watched this man called david something he runs you know, oh look here no that ain't gonna work watching listen to audio books let me help in fact let me do you man a favor right now buying audio books yeah and listen to david goggins ain't gonna help you nothing you gotta get the work in people i swear down big birds yeah they think that oh well no i'm not gonna change my diet i'm not gonna go gym i'm just gonna put david goggins on and that's gonna help me drop no it won't you gotta, you got to commit yourself. Goggins will gas the place up and take money out of your wallet. But really, you got to do the work. People are, in, this, in 2021, people think there's an easy way of doing things. People think, oh, well, rather than put the hard work in, I'll just buy a book. That will help. No. Oh, rather than put the work in, I'll put audio book on. Oh, David Goggins will tell me what. To, no. you got to do it either way. No matter David Goggins can gas you up all you want. At some point, you've got to take charge of it. At some point, you've got to eat less calories. That's what it comes down to on this one. It's one of them peak ones. At some point, you have to cut calories. Whether Goggins does it or not. Isn't it? Well, Goggins ain't going to do nothing. You, as a, Each individual has to take responsibility. No amount of Goggins, no amount of IG, no amount of different goofy pictures on your screen telling you about, oh, this motivational quote and that motivational quote ain't going to do it. Yeah? And that's what Andy that's what Andy, Andy Ruiz needs to hear right now. Because I see a lot of wasted talent in him. Got really quick, naturally quick hands. When you think about how big he is, yeah, it's... What's that man called? Who's the man they always compare him to? Butterbean. Butterbean was so low. But this man has clearly got some elite genetics in there. Real explosive hands. And what gets me is, imagine if he was coming in 230. Imagine that. It's a scary thought. I'd be worried. Seriously. Because if he's got quick hands and he's carrying all his dead weight. Imagine the extra power he's going to have. When he gets rid of all the... If you're, if you're carrying 50 pounds of dead weight, yeah. Every time you throw a leveraged hook. Most of your energy is going in just moving your belly from left to right, isn't it? Think about it. You're losing so much energy in, tra in transferring the weight in your belly. Very little goes into your fist. When you get rid of that dead weight, 
you can generate a similar level of force but all of it or half of it won't be spent on getting your body round in a circle it will be all put into your hand but for some reason he seems Ruiz seems happy with his, these mediocre results in this game or in every game in sport you ain't going to get to the top one you're never going to be the top don doing this mediocre stuff being happy with 280 being happy with career heaviest not good enough and we're going to see on the scales what he weighs in at that will be the true test because he's had no excuse he knew a year ago now he was well overweight and yeah he looks good on the pads yeah he'll beat this next bum he's got to fight but at the top level I, I really want to see it for the sport's sake I think there's potentially a big wasted talent in Ruiz he's got, great, he's got a typical Mexican defence very solid though battle tested defence quick hands but he's going to be limited when he comes up against the athletes of the division or at least he's never going to get the best out of himself at this weight I don't believe don't get me wrong, there'll be shills who tell you, oh, why be, had him, had him last time, even Hatman, Hatman was saying, oh, yeah, well, the thing is, he's coming in for power, and Johnny Nelson, oh, yeah, you know, well, the thing is, AJ's got to be worried because he's clearly coming in for power, like, what is that? Since when is big bubbly mean power? Since when is being a big bird coming, <laughs> so many, so many big birds out there these days, man, I swear down, but, um, what is that like oh well now he's put weight on because you that, that's not a thing you know that's what people who don't know boxing think oh well no he's, he's heavy because he's got power no you're heavy because you're big for nothing that's what <laughs> let me do you a favor being adding dead weight and even to be honest adding muscle there's no real evidence that adding a whole lot of muscle helps look at Daniel Dubois ask Daniel Dubois how having all, all that muscle helped him ask him go on ask him in I'll tell you what to do Go 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 watch Daniel Dubois versus Joe Joyce, yeah? And the round before he jacked, go and ask him how much all that muscle helping him out. Ask, go and ask him, that's what you need to do. Don't, don't worry about the YB. So, say him, Dubois, how's all that muscle working for you? And better yet, Ruiz as well. When AJ is polishing Ruiz's wig for him, ask him in round 11, how's that big bubbly, how's that big bird going for you, lad? Just say to him, see what he says. And that's the bottom line here, yeah? All the mother goofs who tell you that, oh, being big as weight and it means you've got power, don't mean nothing. It's never positive to be a dead weight, never. Not not fat, not muscle, really. And that's what makes AJ, the difference with AJ is he ain't adding it. He ain't in the gym pumping weights. And you've got, na natural is natural. When you're in there pumping or when you're in there eating too much, like Ruiz, it's dead weight. Good for nothing. So yeah, he looks good in the pads, yeah, he looks good in the bag, but... We saw in the AJ fight, his feet couldn't pick, catch up with AJ. Yeah, he couldn't get his hands off. And he himself admitted that, oh, I didn't train and I couldn't get my shots off, I couldn't get this off, I couldn't get that off. Yeah, he's too big and bubbly, too much of a big bird. Ruiz spent too much time being a big bird. And that's what happened.